The immersion program K-12 through is very unique and I think sometimes in Lexington we forget that. In Kentucky there is no other K-12 through immersion program and in the United States it's pretty unique as well. So the benefits of the program is first it's articulated and what we mean by that is the teachers all work together K through 12, the principals all work together K through 12, and it's lined out the student learning, the content and the language. So there is cohesion from K through five, and when the students go six to eight, there's discussions on how to best to grow the language and the content, and when the students move on to nine through 12, that discussion and articulation continues. That's one of the biggest benefits. When a student finishes fifth grade, they are able to speak in sentences, they're able to interact on a, a, a fairly um, basic level with speakers of Spanish. And um, whenever they leave eighth grade, however, the target of Spanish, uh, level of Spanish, proficiency level, is uh, that they're, they're, they're able to speak in paragraphs, they're able to start to tell some stories. Um, the content that we have there at Bryan Station Middle School, which is in a way an extension of what's happening at the elementary school, really expands on that knowledge. We have students learning about um, uh, social studies in Spanish, for instance. They're learning about the uh, uh, ch uh, Chinese um, system. They're learning about Egypt, ancient Egypt. They're learning about um, the United States, the colonies, all in Spanish, and they're able to very much expand their their language and their content knowledge. I had a, a parent ask me the other day. She says, well, my student speaks, my child uh, speaks Spanish at home. And uh, why should my child be in a, a, a program where Spanish is spoken when we speak Spanish at home? And I said, well, do you speak academic Spanish at home? Oh, no, we don't. So that's one of the great advantages of continuing on in the program is not only are we expanding content, we're expanding academic language, and we're expanding, expanding language. So any, any, um, the, the opportunity to write, the opportunity to read, the opportunity to, to do science experiments in Spanish uh, beyond building on that language level that has already been uh, started in elementary school uh, is just phenomenal and, and, and something that's unrivaled. So with those students, they're going to have multiple experiences, and I think Mr. McMain will be coming on to talk about that. But for those students, they're going to continue deepening their knowledge of content. So for example, science is something that they're going to study deeply uh, in the middle school and high school program, especially at the high school level. Math continues, so that content knowledge is gonna be huge for them. Hi, my name is Sarah Drakeford. And I'm Candace Wade. And we were students at Maxwell Elementary. Mm -hmm. Now we both attend the University of Cincinnati and we're studying Spanish amongst other things. Well, we were able to experience advanced classes like AP classes. We were able to travel to foreign countries with our class, such as Spain and Costa Rica. Um, I'm personally, I graduated from the Station Arts program, so if your child is interested in doing anything with art, painting, sculpture, that kind of thing, that's a really good program. They also have IT programs, ROTC programs, Engineering Academy now I think is one of them. So there are just a ton of different ones that you can do alongside Spanish immersion. Yeah, as well as clubs. Mm -hmm. You can be part of an environmental club, you can be part of the Hispanic Honors Society and also brings other opportunities involving the Spanish language. Spain. What? And also within in the program we have various opportunities such as um, one of our classes currently is connecting with uh, another school in Granada. Another class is connecting with a school in Asturias. So beyond the classroom itself um, within the, the Spanish program. But um, outside of the program, students have some phenomenal opportunities, such as uh, we have a, a great music program. Uh, we offer band, jazz band. We have a, a great orchestra program, a fiddle club, a choir, um, Bearcat Chorale. Um, so there's a lot of, of opportunities in the music world. Um, also, we have arts programs and we have technology. We have a robotics um, class. We have um, uh, other technology developing apps. And then we have clubs like uh, Girls Who Code, who is uh, 
um, that's an after school club um, as far as developing Spanish we have a lot of opportunities we have a conversation club in Spanish for for s students to practice their Spanish conversation skills uh, talk outside the classroom uh, we have supports there at the middle school um, tutoring homework help um, we offer a community class in Spanish as well I really want to point out the faculty that are in the program. We have teachers from all over the world, and the experiences the students have because of that, not only are they hearing the different language and accents, but they're learning about cultures and customs, and that percolates throughout the curriculum of every teacher. So I think those are two of the things that really stand out and become benefits for students as they go through the immersion program. So we have a phenomenal program, a uh, continuation of, of the program here at Maxwell and, and other uh, Spanish immersion schools um, at Bryan Station Middle School. Um, as far as within the program, we have speakers of Spanish from various countries, so students are exposed to Spanish from Cuba, Spanish from Puerto Rico, Spanish from Before Spain. We were able to travel to Spain and Costa Rica with our class once in our eighth grade year and once in our um, senior year and those were some of the best experiences mm -hmm. of our lives. And that doesn't really stop whenever you graduate like you can take those skills and travel wherever you want whenever you want especially to Hispanic countries but I mean even like other other countries like you still get those skills of traveling and being in the countries speaking the native language experiencing the, the culture that's like the best kind of education that you can have being bilingual is phenomenal and the immersion program being in the immersion program really supports bilingualism develops that bilingualism uh, beyond just the very fact that a person can communicate with with others that speak a different language um, Bilingualism has its economic advantages in the future. Also, uh, bilingualism has um, advantages a person wouldn't even imagine, such as increased cognitive function and increased creativity, um, the flexibility of, of thinking outside of the box. Um, bilingualism itself has, has advantages in, in a person's kindness, in a person's global understanding, global competence, um, even beyond the ability to to just kind of pull back um, the the intricacies of another culture and enter in so so just being bilingual has, has, has so many advantages question the advantages of the k-12 versus just a k through five is by the end of fifth grade kids are really on that cusp of having wonderful language skills and it's kind of like why bring them that far and not help them continue? By the end of the 12th grade, the student's language skills are basically at a level that a world language teacher is supposed to have when they graduate college. So if you think about that, why would you stop your kid at fifth grade when they're just getting that wonderful solid base and middle school and high school is going to help them flourish with their language? We are actually working with um, other programs outside of, of the Spanish Immersion Program. Um, we have had, we're in discussions with the University of Kentucky, we're in discussions with other universities, um, and students are seeing the, the many opportunities that are available in the community. Um, we have an, an increased number of Spanish speakers in, in Fayette County, and um, these, these students are developing that language in order to communicate with with various communities uh, in Fayette County and outside of Fayette County. Um, just recently we had a, a culture fair at Bryan Station Middle School. Community members from, from all over came in speaking Spanish. Um, it was really phenomenal to see um, parents and, and community members that um, came from Argentina, came from Cuba, came from Puerto Rico came from the Repu Dominican Republic, came from Peru, um, from Spain, just a variety of countries and able to interact with our students. We have uh, a reading program um, that we have planned for this next semester for, for uh, students to come in and, uh, and, and Spanish immersion students read in Spanish to those students. We have a One of the major opportunities that immersion gave me was AP classes. So right now, I'm at, I just finished my um, first semester of freshman year in college, but I started out as a sophomore. So you know, you're saving thousands of dollars by taking these classes. And our school has uh, so many that were offered to us. You know, it depends on what college as well, because some of them don't accept as many. But 
you know, I was able to skip a whole year, so I'd say that's really yeah. beneficial. And I was able to um, enroll as a sophomore as well. Um, specific to Spanish, we took both Spanish language and Spanish literature in high school, which were both AP classes that gave us college credit. So we were able to n skip certain Spanish classes in college by just taking these classes in high school. So that's a great opportunity. It saves you a lot of money and a lot of time. Well, thank you so thank much you. for listening to us today, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your experience with Spanish Immersion.